when she told me how much I received, I realized there was an extra $600. So This is a government I describe as promises made, promises kept. And it was really exciting to receive this. My name is Anthony Herman. I live right here in this community of La Fac Choiselle. I'm a retired teacher. I taught for pretty much um, 30 plus years. I'm retired as an agricultural teacher. Retired in 2000. I am Claudette Ajoda. I am a retired teacher. I started teaching in St. Lucia at, what, at a school which was called Vibutai Project. So I taught at Antropo Secondary School. I retired in 2001 after teaching for like 20, 20, 22 years. Initially, I heard that the Honorable Prime Minister made a promise to give pensioners a blessing of $600 at the end of November. I heard that a few weeks ago. And then, the day salaries came in, I called and I said, check my salary for me, please. So the young lady in the credit union <laughs> checked it. And when she told me how much I received, I realized there was an extra $600. So I think I screamed her ears. <laughs> <laughs> she may have become deaf because that $600 came in. I, I don't even know how to say, say it. It was perfect timing. When I heard, in fact, I heard my neighbor screaming and dancing in the house. So I went outside and said, what's the matter? And she says to me, we have it, we have it. I said, what do you have? And she says, well, $600. I said, from where and what? She said, you didn't know? I said, no. She told me actually the, the, the government had promised $600 to pension and to be paid at the, at the end of November. I said, oh my, I actually prayed for $600, so the Lord has handed me $600. So I was pretty excited. He honored his promise and I respect him and I give him thanks. Philip J. Pierre, I thank you with all my heart and soul for that gift, for that blessing, okay? I am sure every single government pensioner is grateful to you, but some of us just don't express how we feel. Sometimes we are afraid, sometimes we're shy. I'm usually shy, but I needed to say thank you so much for that blessing. I am also an entertainer and since COVID, I haven't worked. Since March 2020, I haven't worked. So I've been relying heavily on pension, on the pension and the extra $600. It's just amazing, thank you. The Bible says, what does God require of man? And the answer is to walk humbly, to do justly, and to love mercy. So this afternoon, I take this opportunity to pray for the Prime Minister and his cabinet, and especially the Prime Minister, that he will continue to walk humbly. He will continue to love mercy and do justly. And when I talk about just do justice, I'm talking about the vulnerable, the underprivileged, the indigents, those that do not have a voice. He will have to be the voice of those many. But you know what? This is a government I describe as promises made, promises kept.